Hi, welcome back to Ox Tool. I'm Tom. Um, today we're going to talk about this little Bergmaster turret drill press. Uh, one of my readers of the blog, uh, oxtool.blogspot.com, uh, commented uh, on this Bergmaster that was in the background of another shot, so he was curious about it. Um, and it's kind of a weird little piece of equipment. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me, you don't see too many of them around anymore. Um, they were, uh, had their heyday in the uh, 50s, 60s, and 70s, uh, kind of pre CNC. Um, so, what it is, is it's an uh, auto indexing uh, turret drill. So the idea is that uh, you can set up uh, a series of tools and do um, drill press type operations on it uh, in a sequential manner. Um, and they're pretty efficient uh, uh, for still for certain kinds of jobs. Um, so it's pretty neat. Um, so you can move the head up and down and set it up for different work. It's got a, a coolant trough here with a drain. Um, it's got a series of uh, uh, not exactly micrometer stops, but uh, indexing stops for, for depth. Um, it's a little bit limited on speeds. Um, it has a little uh, belt change back here uh, with kind of a high-low range. Uh, but interestingly enough, inside the, uh, inside the turret head, um, each one of these spindles uh, is geared a little bit different, uh, or some of them are the same and some of them are slower, I should say. <clears throat> um, and I'll turn it on in a second, you can see that. Uh, and I'll do a little, uh, a little uh, drill tap and chamfer sequence so you can get the idea how it works. Um, I picked this up at an estate sale. It's kind of off in the corner and uh, um, they wanted too much for it, so I came back the next day and made them an offer and they took it. So. Uh, um, I ended up with the thing. Cleaned it up a little bit and uh, I still, uh, it uses uh, threaded back chucks here and this is a little collet setup here, kind of a weird collet setup. Uh, I still got to get a couple more little uh, threaded drill, drill chucks uh, for it. Uh, I came with a tapping head, a little tapmatic tapping head. Um, this is worth uh, what I paid for the uh, for the whole thing so I was pretty pleased with my purchase. Um, I'll turn it I'll turn it on now and uh, you can kind of get an idea of how it uh, auto sequences, uh, which is pretty neat. Um, power switch down here. So notice that none of these are running right now, just this one here. So um, only the spindle that's uh, straight down is powered. Um, but if I click this up against the backstop, it'll index to the next segment. So, and then I can do it again. And you see how slow that one's turning there. I don't know if you can see that. Um, and then so on and so on. So, let me get back to the start here. And that one's turning pretty slow. So you can see that uh, if you have an operation uh, that uh, was, say, a... Uh, um, a plate or something that had a whole bunch of uh, tapped holes or counterboard holes or something like that where you had to drill and counterbore or drill and ream and tap or something like that uh, that you could really set these things up and I've seen pictures of uh, old time factories where there was banks of these things. Um, one I saw not too long ago was a, uh, a unit that had like uh, f four of these on each side so I'm not quite sure how they used it but uh, um, you know, you could set up, you know, probably, we'll see, six times uh, eight, uh, a bunch of tools. Um, so almost like a CNC. And if you had a couple operators, you'd just slide the plate down to the next guy and, and they'd work your way around the circle and boom, you're done. So pretty quick to set up, um, pretty simple. Everybody understands drill presses, so um, not a difficult machine. Um, so I'm gonna move the camera up a little closer. Uh, so, and I got a little piece of aluminum bar here. We'll drill and uh, do a little sequence on that you can see. So let me get a little closer here. Let's see how close we can get and not get in trouble. Let's see, is that gonna work? Yeah, let's see. Get up a little bit more. That down. That looks 
pretty good. Okay, let's try that. See how that works. Okay, here we go. Now, I'm purposely not coming up against the stop because I want to I want to drill a couple of holes here uh, just for ha ha's. Okay, now I'm going to index. Index again, and we'll do some tapping. Okay. Now I'm just going to countersink these a little bit. Okay, so I'm ready to start again. So, one, two, three, four, five, uh, five, eight, thirty-two holes drill tapped in chamfered, pretty quick. Um, so, if you had a drill fixture or something like that where you could just throw a part in and and uh, and it and it located and it clamped it, you saw that I had to kind of hold the thing down a little bit uh, during the tapping. But you can see that it, you can set something up here with a guide. Um, you know, say you had a bar that was 10 feet long like this and you had to put a whole a bucket a whole bucket load of uh, tapped holes in, you could just slide the thing along and have a little index and ch -ch 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 -ch, maybe a pin that picked up the hole and then you could just hop it over and, you know, drill and tap a, a, a series of holes uh, uh, pretty quickly there. So anyway, that's a Bergmaster um, auto indexing turret drill. Um, and uh, I'm Tom Lipton, and just remember, nothing too strong ever broke. Check out oxtool.blogspot.com, and if you want to read more about stuff I'm working on, talk to you later. Bye.